Chris, what what's with the metal? The, this 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 medal here. Well, last night I won my first ever cocktail competition, my first ever external cocktail competition. Do you know what it was for? World Porn Star Martini Championships, judged by the creator. So I am officially the champion of all things Porn Star Martini, and you can't take that away from me. I make the best Porn Star Martini. I also savored a bottle of uh, Prosecco. I won the thing. So I am now officially a celebrity and uh, I'm gonna quit all my jobs and just uh, run around naked in this medal because that's all I want to do. Welcome to the pub room, bitch. Hi guys, my name is Cressy. Welcome back to the pump room. And today I have something really special for you. Today we are doing none other but the incomparable Angel's Envy. Some of you might know that I'm actually the whiskey guardian for London for Angel's Envy, the only one in the UK. So it's kind of the UK one, but like just London at the moment. So if you do not know what this bourbon is, it is brilliant. What makes this so special is the finish on it. It is finished in port wine barrels. So it is aged from four to six years in white oak and then aged for six months in port wine. This stuff is utterly delicious, completely rolls off the tongue. It has an ABV, which is alcohol, bottle, volumes, I don't, and vaginas. It has an 43.3%. So it gives it a nice little kick and it just rolls straight off the tongue. This was supposed to be released in 2010, but actually because we are so dead set on having the perfect finish of it, we were six months late and it actually came out in 2011. So if we crack this bottle open, you'll notice something quite interesting. So it has a cork in it and on the cork it has a 10 slash 10 so it's supposed to be released in october 2010 but because we were so dead set on the finish and lincoln who is the creator of this bourbon lincoln henderson uh he decided no we'll release it six months later because it needs a bit more time so if you ask us what it means now it means it's because it's 10 out of 10 babes it's one of the best or the best so with angel's envy why is it called angel's envy well in whiskey production and some other productions, obviously, but we'll talk about the whiskey one. There is something called an angel share. So every barrel every year will lose a percentage of the volume of the barrel. And that's called the angel share because it, you know, due to climate and everything, it evaporates and we lose it. So we lose it to the angels. The reason why this is called angels envy is because we got the better part of the deal, which makes the angels envious. Haha, <laughs> so, so funny. But yeah, without further ado, Let's get stuck in. So, Angel's Envy, created by the Henderson family. Unfortunately, Lincoln is no longer with us, but he is responsible for Woodward. Wood, 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 wood. He is responsible for Jack Daniel Single Barrel and Woodford Reserve. Uh, two great whiskies, but this is his lasting legacy. This is what he finished with. His son Wes is now in charge of all things Angel's Envy, and they also have, they have about three generations of Henderson at one point in the distillery they have. And the distillery they have, which is on 500 Main in, in Louisville, was actually, it, we, it used to be, an elevator factory, which Lincoln's father used to work in. Technically, four generations of Henderson, which is pretty damn cool for something so new to have that much history to come with it. As you can see on the back, they have the wonderful angel wings, which kind of fulfills your inner like Raw XD emo dreams. I'm kind of tempted to get them tattooed on my back, but don't tell my mum that. So why don't we open this and have a little taste? I have my two lovely Angel's Envy tasting glasses. Ooh, cause I'm fancy. Do a little bit, nothing special. Ali, would you like to have a little smell? Yeah. Charles. So you get the spirit hit and then you get like that lovely port notes that kind of roll off the tongue, which I think is absolutely delicious and it can go in many wonderful things. The great thing about this is it's suited to any kind of drink. So your Boilermakers, your classic bourbon cocktails and also tiki drinks as well. I like brands that are very, very human and down to earth. And one thing that I find really humbling is the fact that they don't actually have the first case of Angel's Envy ever created because when it came off the bottling line, uh, Lincoln picked it up and it smashed. So the first six bottles are no more. So they only have six to 
What bottle number is this? Everything is like, this is bottle number 5,877, batch number. I don't know what the batch, I can't read that. Can't read it, but everything's bottled by hand, packaged by hand, even palleted by hand. Also, um, even the still is uh, like, they're very, very aware of sustainability. So one thing that's really cool is that the still was actually made a few blocks down from the distillery. And also the corn is locally sourced and so is the rest of the mash build. Once a year, they do something in September called Toast the Trees, which is a hashtag Take a picture of the angels of your cocktail and use the hashtag toast the trees. So for every hashtag we get, we plant a new white oak tree because with bourbon, it has to be aged in fresh white oak barrels that have never been used before. And obviously that gets discarded afterwards. So it's about being very aware of the environmental impact of creating whiskey. Without further ado, let's make a drink. We are going to be doing a favorite of mine, which is a gold rush. So gold rush is very, very easy. It's like the bee's knee suburban. It's lemon, Honey and Angel's Envy. So an angel rush, if you will. Angel rush? Sounds like thrush. Angel rush. Angel rush. Angel thrush. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Okay, cool, cut. <laughs> right, so with the gold rush, it's three ingredients, super easy. So we are gonna start with our lovely Angel's Envy. Put speed pour in. Oh, it fits a speed pour in really nicely. Stock it in your bars, ladies and gents. 50 mils. 50 mils of that. And then we're gonna have like a nice generous oil of honey. So 25 mils, but let's be honest, I can't quite measure it because it gets stuck in my jigger. So yeah, I'd say about that much. Woo! It's a nice, nice healthy squirt. And then we're gonna need a lemon. And in true Louisville tradition, I have a baseball bat. Lemon me up, Ali. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, boy. Here's one I didn't hit earlier. So we're gonna cut that in half because we need 25 mils. And uh, we're gonna use the most important thing, a bar knife. Gonna squeeze this in. But before we do any of that, we need to make sure our glass is chilled. So I have a giant ice block to chill our glass. Just squeeze that in. Okay, cool. So now that that's all in there, what I'm gonna do before I get into the whole uh, shaking, I'm just gonna stir it in there because the honey is quite thick and I do want it to sort of Resolve the ingredients. And because I, if I'm using ice, it will just harden and stick to the bottom of the shaker. And we don't want that. So there are some great places you can get this drink. I actually saw someone um, get a blended gold rush at Satan's Whiskers, because they will, I think they pretty much will blend any classic for you. Fill that with some ice. Get your tin, do a little flip. Nice hard shake. I just hit myself in the face. Right, that looks great. It smells great. So you're gonna do that and then you're gonna get your fine strainer and strainer, which are behind me. Ooh, that is a great wash line. We're gonna just serve that on our coaster. Look at that. Absolutely lovely, super easy. Great for the summer, even though it's raining. So, the Gold Rush was invented uh, at a bar called Milk and Honey in New York. We have one in London, which closed recently. This drink is usually served like on the rocks, but I quite want to do it straight up. And then it's just like a lemon twist with the garnish, which is like a very curly lemon. Um, absolutely delicious. Let's give it a try. That's gorgeous. That's actually really, really lovely. We're we'll definitely having it in a sashi and just the angels is fantastic in it. Not that I'm being biased. A little bit. Go try this at home, tag us in it, see if you like it. I think it's delicious. If you've not tried Angel's Envy already, definitely give it a try. If you want to get Angel's Envy in London, you can get it from Venus or Speciality Brands. And if you want me to come to you with some Angel's Envy, let me know, because I would love to see you. That is all from me and Ali, my gorgeous husband. I love you, babe. My gorgeous gazebo. I love you, my gazebo. Where can, where can normal people buy this? Um, if you want to buy this, uh, you can get this on Master Malt, uh, Whiskey Exchange as well, and I think maybe Jerry's, but Whiskey Exchange is like your best bet. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comments below and uh, share with your friends. <laughs>